So I, I'm from University of Dallas, um, but my home is here in Minnesota. The snow is currently falling outside, um, but that's kind of the short answer. I actually grew up in Tallahassee, Florida, and that's really where I fell in love with running um, despite the heat and humidity. I've been running since sixth grade. Um, there was a brief kind of hiatus during high school um, because the high school I went to was super small. Actually didn't have a team when I first started um, at the high school. Uh, so I helped start that up my junior year. Um, so I was running track those years, um, but junior and senior year um, had cross country as well. It was, it was always kind of something um, that I enjoyed. My parents are both runners, so they would take my sister and I to all like the road races on like the 4th of July or Thanksgiving, the turkey trots and, and all of that. Um, and I really, really enjoyed competing. Um, I would always you know, try and win my age category and, and always did. And I um, just kind of excelled at it and, and super enjoyed the you know competitive aspect. I think like any cross country competition, the preparation really starts over the summer. So um, I was really fortunate just to have a solid summer of um, kind of longer miles um, and just went into the season, like not really knowing like how good I was gonna be that season, honestly, and just started winning meet after meet. Um, and by the time, um, I got to Virginia Beach, um, which is where the, the national championship was in, in 2019. Um, had, I think, um, seven, six or seven um, wins under my belt. So I just had a lot of confidence um, from that. Um, and yeah, the, the week before uh, that championship, um, I had actually won the SEAC, um, Southern Collegiate Athletic Association um, conference meet. Um, and the week after, um, I was, um, I, I won the regional um, NCAA um, Southern um, like Division Three um, competition. So uh, my coach was actually kind of yelling at me during the meet to slow down um, in my lead um, to kind of conserve my energy. Um, so I, yeah, it was just a lot of momentum um, going into that meet and just throughout the whole season it was a great season uh, the year before that as a freshman um i had competed in in the same uh championship and placed fifth um and i had i think started out in the lead um i think maybe in the first mile or so um and then kind of petered out towards the end of the race um and i really didn't want that to happen this year um and just kind of was looking forward to going back to virginia beach and seeing what i could do um and just like had that confidence going into it um but it was a tough race um just with like the wind we were on like a an airstrip um, where, where planes were landing. Um, and so the wind was just incredible. I think it got up to like 30 miles per hour. Um, it was really like fighting against the wind. Um, so it was, it was a, a tough race, a cold race, um, but it felt really good once we finished. Yeah, I'd definitely say my, my parents, first of all, um, they've just been so um, encouraging. Um, like I mentioned, they're, they're both runners and kind of um, get what it's like to really like be in the grind of, of training and in competition. Um, and so, yeah, just having an amazing support network through them and then through my team um, really was was amazing um you know uh, that season and and all throughout my college career um just the team at at the university of dallas have been is so incredibly uplifting and like that's every day in practice it's not just when i'm winning or, or whatever it's, it's really every day at 6 a.m when they're showing up and it's an uplifting environment um it's really something special
the first thing that comes to mind um, is just working on my school paper. Um, I have the opportunity of being news editor there. So a lot of my um, time and energy outside of running um, goes into journalism and just being really invested in our campus community. Um, it's something I really enjoy. Um, another thing is I love cooking and baking. Um, and that is just like a oh, great um, kind of release for me. Um, another one, um, I know you asked for one, but um, I have played violin since I was uh, three. So I just really enjoy making music and um, yeah, playing violin. Mine kind of goes to is is actually in a, an editorial that um, Alexi Popless just came out with um, from the New York Times. And I would just encourage um, young athletes to go listen to that. But I would just echo her words of just like prioritize your mental health um, as though it's you know just as important. And it is just as just as important um, as your physical health. Um, so it's really seeing those hand in hand um, and just like I think um, the, the pandemic has really brought that to, um, to the light um, that athletes need to prioritize their mental health. Um, so yeah, I would just echo Alexi Papas on that one.